When four-year-old Gloria Kobsinjo was welcomed to Sanyu Baby's home in 2022, her caretakers were unaware that she had epilepsy. With her body bearing wounds and a stroke affecting her left side, Kobsinjo's seizures began two weeks later. Uh, later, we treated the wounds, got well. We started physiotherapy for the stroke. But later, like two weeks, she developed seizures. She started with shouting to unseen objects. When she was checked, the doctor recommended anticonvulsants, but the seizures continued. She could get like two to three seizures per day and lasting for one to two minutes. The doctor then recommended epilepsy surgery. Kobsinger's caregivers say the 12 hour procedure was successful and her life was transformed. From being unable to dress herself, she now engages in class and has not had a seizure since the operation last October. Those kind of uh, uh, visual hallucinations, they have never come back. She was so aggressive before the operation. She never wanted someone to reach near her. Even though you've done nothing, she could beat. According to the World Health Organization, epilepsy accounts for a significant proportion of the disease burden worldwide, affecting 50 million people. Each year, at least 5 million people are diagnosed with epilepsy worldwide. 20 to 30 percent of attendances in mental health clinics are patients with epilepsy. So it's not something that is small. The Ministry of Health has launched epilepsy surgery in Uganda. Earlier interventions with the surgery were not sustained. Again in Mbale Hospital, there were um, uh, some American doctors led by Dr. Warren Bowling. They operated on up to 10 children from 2015 um, onwards. However, um, as, as the director mentioned, the program did not, uh, did not continue. It was by an external group of uh, pe uh, people and uh, no capacity was built. But along the way, we have trained uh, over the years. And uh, so this is now the first set of, uh, of procedures which is being done by us in, uh, in Uganda. Government says the surgery that is currently done at Cure Hospital in Imbale with the support of partners should be made available at other facilities, especially regional referral hospitals. However, not everyone who has epilepsy qualifies for surgery. Only children with drug-resistant epilepsy. What does this one mean? That uh, these are children who have been treated with at least two anti-seizure medications. Most often, there are not more than two um, anti-seizure medications. And uh, their seizures have not been controlled with these anti-seizure medications. Try to make sure that uh, we do a Pepsi surgery and uh, try to make them seizure free. Seizures have a lot of comorbidities and a lot of problems. So by doing a Pepsi surgery, we are doing what we call precision medicine or precision kind of care. Dr. Richard Idro says a recent study indicates that over 770,000 Ugandans live with epilepsy. Border borders are maiming our people a lot. You have lots other than the amputations, you have a lot of brain injuries. Then uh, we also have cases um, where you have epilepsy which, uh, which is arising from uh, eating uh, inadequately cooked uh, pork. Other causes are genetic disorders and abnormal development of the brain, among others. Around the time of birth, mm, around the time of birth, um, some of the uh, babies sustain brain injury. Persons living with epilepsy still face stigma which affects their lives. For example, in instances where adults are denied work and children are bullied at school. Nobat Atkunda, NTV News.